what's your some tips for you actually playing against Crow? The first tip that you would give to new players, what are your tips to somebody that wants to really master Crow? What are the best ways for Crow to use his super? Next question, which brawlers does Crow do a good job at countering? Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Carlos and it is time to brawl now. Uh, oh, and also, happy brawl days. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, okay, so today's video is was actually recorded a couple of weeks ago, but that being said, guys, these tips for Crow, seriously, super on point and super great. So you guys are gonna enjoy this. Hello fellow brawlers, it's Kairos time and it is time to brawl. Today we got a special guest here on the channel for like, I don't know, the 20th time. It's Jigsaw, how's it going, man? It's really good. Thanks for having me. Very good. I think this is actually the first time you've been here on voice. You guys have seen Jigsaw on my channel a lot when it comes to pushing my brawlers up to 500. We've been, we, we, we play a lot together. I think probably almost every day if I have time, if I'm not focusing on video, right? Something like that. Mm -hmm. Whenever you're online. <laughs> yeah, when I'm <laughs> online. Okay, okay, so today I asked Jigsaw, well Jigsaw was like, hey, uh, I'm going to be pushing a brawler this month and, I was, and he was like, who do you think I should push? And I was like, well, if you get Number one crow, I'll do an interview with you because I have been trying to find a super solid player to do a number one crow interview with for a very long time because you guys have been asking for it. Anyways guys, so Jigsaw here has pushed his crow ridiculously high last season. How high did you push crow? Uh, I got him to 801 trophies. <laughs> that is so crazy. I would say that Crow is probably the second hardest brawler to push, at least last season before he received his buff. What would you think? Yeah, he's he's definitely not in the meta right now. Yeah, definitely not. Even with his most recent buff, I don't see him being super super strong. What do you think? As a you've been playing Crow a ton, what do you think? Yeah, uh, I feel like Leon's a really good replacement to Crow, even though Crow counters him a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you'd see more Leon than you would see Crow right now. Now, if you have played as Crow, you know that Crow really is not super strong, especially once you do actually push competitively. But before you actually gain Crow, I feel like he seems like an incredibly strong brawler until you actually play him and you realize his weaknesses. How would you actually play against an enemy Crow? Doesn't matter which brawler you are, but what are, what are some tips for you actually playing against Crow? All right, so sometimes when I see Crow like trying to keep an area controlled, sometimes no matter who I'm playing, I just run straight at that Crow because there's low damage per second. Yeah. Like if he just heads straight to that Crow, he's gonna panic and he doesn't have a lot of shots. So I definitely recommend um, if you if you want to take on a Crow and kill him really fast, just run straight at him and don't turn back. Okay, I really like that. Obviously, there there is some point where you're like, okay, I have to fall back, but. Mm -hmm. That's usually if Crow is 2v1ing you and he has like a teammate with him. But if it's yeah. just a Crow, like, you just go in for him because he's gonna do so little damage. I like that, that's really solid advice. Don't be afraid of Crow, he's not as scary as he looks. <laughs> By viewer request, which uh, device do you play on? Do you play on an iPad or an iPhone or what do you play on? Um, I play on an iPhone 7. Now, let's go ahead and we're going to quickly, very quickly go through each of the game modes and talk about whether Crow is viable or not. And starting awesome. off with uh, Gem Grab. Definitely not. Solo Showdown. Yes, except for Double Trouble and Hot Maze. And then Duo Showdown. Yes, for the same thing. Heist. Absolutely. Best game mode, you'd say? Uh... I really like him in Bounty, but I'd say Heist is definitely his best game mode. Oh, okay. So then obviously Bounty's a yes. Then how about yes. uh, Brawl Ball? Definitely not. That goes exactly in line with what I would say. <laughs> Except, <laughs> tell me about Bounty. I wasn't expecting you to say yes or Bounty. Is there is he map specific on Bounty, or would you play uh, him on any map? I don't know. So like the first day of the season, well, I invited you to a game room. Yeah. And uh, I switched to Crow, and I just started doing really well there. It was energy drink, so that helped, but yes. I feel like I just kept playing Crow and Bounty after that, and I just realized that you can get quick kills with his chomp, and he's pretty effective. Okay, and that map specifically was Outlaw Camp, if I remember right. Yep, you're correct. Okay, and I was playing Mortis. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Let's just say you're a very good Crow. <laughs> okay, 
So, the first tip that you would give to new players that just unlocked Crow, they unlocked their first legendary, they're super stoked and they're hyped, they jump into the game, they play him, they're like, oh, he's not as good as I thought he was. What are your tips for them? Um, definitely try and utilize your range and stay as far away as possible while like constantly poking at them with your dagger so they don't come and kill you right away. How often do you actually use this super to like jump in on people? Because what you just described was a long range poker to keep your distance from people, but his super brings people right onto the enemy brawler. Would you recommend new players using his super as an offensive sneak attack like that? All right, so in showdown, I would definitely not jump on another person. I would save it to jump away because there's no need to kill another person if you don't have to. Um, unless they have super high elixir and you want, and they're really low HP. Yeah. Um, in heist, I normally don't jump people. I usually jump the safe. Mm -hmm. But if you have to jump an enemy thrower, that's a that's a good idea to do too. Yeah. Bounty, I would definitely recommend jumping on people and not saving for jumping away. And. We'll talk about his super and how to use it more effectively a little bit later. Next tips though, anybody that wants to go from good to great with Crow, let's say there's somebody that's like, you know, 300 Crow and they're like, hey, I want to really push to 500 or I want to push even higher, go to 600. What are your tips to somebody that wants to really master Crow? All right, so this is for 3v3. Um, I would just recommend not trying to be the star or carrying your team. You want to make opportunities for your team and you don't want to say like, oh, I just carried you guys to a victory. You want to create opportunities for your teammates to win the game. And Crow definitely is kind of like that. He's not hes not a star player. He used to be. He used <laughs> to be super strong and was absolutely the star player, but he, he creates, I like that. I like that, creating opportunities for other people. That's excellent. Okay, so let's talk about his regular attack. What is the most efficient way for you to use Crow's regular attack? Um, So you want to, use your attack as much as you can and you really want to poke at enemies and keep them low and keep them falling back you want to be the annoying person that's always shooting them and the other team has to take the poison or fall back and your team can push them so one question that i have is crow's a very squishy brawler he i mean he has mm -hmm. the lowest hp in the game tied with a few other brawlers i mean he has a very fast unload speed so he can throw out quick three shots really fast and if he has has all three daggers all saved up he can actually do a decent amount of burst damage to some, not not tankier brawlers, but to some of those squishier brawlers. In what yeah. situations do you think it is okay for him as a squishy brawler to go up close to an enemy brawler to use his regular attack in that kind of a manner? I feel like if you're, you really need your super, then you can definitely do that. Or if the other person on the other team is holding something valuable, like gems or gotcha. they're about to get to your safe, I definitely feel like it's a good idea to go right up beside them. But most of the time, you use him, him as a long range damage over time uh, attacker, right? Kind of like a control yeah. brawler, just keep people pushed back. Yeah, you definitely want to stay alive as much as you can with Crow and not waste your lives because um, you're really important for crowd control okay. and holding them back. I like it. So now let's talk about his super. Um, what are the best ways for Crow to use his super? You mentioned in duo show or in showdown, you use it to get away. All right. Um, yeah, okay, so. so I got a few things to say. Okay. So um, you want to jump as far as you can with Crow because he performs his jump the same amount of time no matter how far you go. So if, so you if jump distance, farther, so if distance is the thing that you want to use advantage of that. Yeah, you definitely want to use that if you can. Okay, I like so, that. So first in solo showdown, you want to always save your jump in case you're about to die and need to jump away. Duo showdown, you can definitely jump on the other team if your teammate's about to respawn or you're able to get a kill in some elixir. Yeah, we've had some epic plays where you're playing oh, pro yeah. in duo showdown. Oh man, it's epic. Like I'm about to respawn, then I respawn and you jump on them and then I'm, oh, that's epic. Okay, sorry, go on, I just got excited. All right, <laughs> so, so heist. So you're usually playing with a Daryl or Bolt, some kind of tank, mm -hmm. and a thrower. So you definitely want to, if your thrower is, say, fighting another thrower, you definitely want to jump on them and give your thrower an opportunity to get to the safe or something like that. Yeah, Crow or, counters thrower who counters everybody else who counters Crow. So focus on the yeah. thrower. Okay, I like it. Mm -hmm. And then something I do in rare occasions is jumping the tank. So let's say, I know this sounds crazy, but let's say an enemy bull is charging in. So if you jump on them, you can hit them before they, he stops his charge and you can get a bunch of burst damage in before he stops. 
and you're able to finish them off and almost get your super. And so when you're doing that, making sure that you're paying attention to their ammo is probably very important. Like if they're if they're spamming out a ton of shots that's a great time for you to use that absolutely like if you see someone fire off three shots you know they have no ammo so you can easily kill them if you jump off. um what about oh, i forgot bounty oh please yes uh, um so in bounty you you probably only get one or two supers a game so the first thing you want to do is poke them and then you want to get the crucial kill where let's say a piper has a bunch of stars like five or six you want to jump on that piper quickly get the kill and then just run back do you ever jump on a piper who has her super charged up no if i see the piper has her super i'll either jump on the piper and quickly move away anticipating she's going to jump backwards mm -hmm. so i jump probably farther than where she is gotcha. and then just keep walking to where i think she lands so yeah because you definitely do want to avoid that because those piper bombs they'll take out a crow immediately <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay cool um now let's talk about his star power Obviously, his star power is something's very passive. You just decrease the amount of damage that the enemy brawlers do by about 10%. I'm curious how good of a star power you actually think it is. Uh, I think it's one of the best star powers in the game. Okay, tell me why. So, all right, so like a Mortis would normally take out a crow with three hits, but if you have crow with the star power, it takes, let's say, four hits, and that gives you more time to build up your super, possibly jump on them, or if your teammates are in a crucial fight with somebody else, and you poison them, they're going to be doing a lot less damage. It's not super flashy, but as the time progresses, it really makes an impact on the game. I think an interesting video that maybe I should do if I was an awesome YouTuber that spent the time to create great guides for viewers like I do, would be to actually cover all the different interactions that Crow's super or star power would actually influence things. So thanks for that idea right there. That's that's great. New Brawl Olympics. <laughs> New Brawl Olympics. Which brawlers are the best against Crow's star power? Dun, dun, dun. Stewie Yo. McBeaker's already imagining it. <laughs> Next question. Which brawlers does Crow do a good job at countering? So he can be good against tanks if you constantly are shooting them and you're able to keep them back. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to charge up your super. Just make sure they don't get on top of you. Yeah. Um, I would probably also yeah. add, especially on maps where there's lots of grass, where the tanks usually try and sneak up on you, because uh, it keeps them pushed back, but then also makes it so that everybody sees where they're at. And a tank that's out in the open is like basically worthless in a competitive yeah, match. I totally agree with that. Um, he also does a super duper good job against Dynamite because of his fast movement speed, so he's able to oh, juke yeah. some Dynamite shots. Yeah, that's and actually then, interesting. I wasn't thinking about the fact that he'd be easier or better against Dynamite than he would be against Barley. How is he against Barley? At the start of games, he's really hard, like Crow's really hard against the Barley because he just, Barley constantly keeps shooting one area and the Crow can't do anything about it. Yeah. But later on as the game progresses, it usually doesn't matter if you jump on them, they're usually still dead. How about Brawlers that specifically counter Crow? Uh, we got a long list here. Okay. Um, so Brock does really well against Crow because of his long range and high damage. Spike can take Crow in two hits. A really good Dynamite can take Crow in two hits. And Penny, because Penny can take Crow in three hits with her turn two. Yeah. So that's super annoying. It's super annoying. Especially because Crow is very much like a back and forth brawler. And where he's going back and forth like that, Penny's turret like always hits him, I swear. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's crazy. Other tips that you have for Crow. Or what other what other thoughts do you have on him? So he has a pretty fast reload speed, so I just want him you wanna make sure that you're there, always there for your team, keeping the other team pushed back and really assisting them in the battles they need help with. That's a really good point because I feel like a lot of the people that come in on this channel to do stuff like this, they're like, oh yeah, save your shots, conserve your shots. But those are for brawlers like Spike or Terra who have a really low reload speed. But Crow, he's most effective when you're using his shots frequently. Yeah, so I definitely say use all the ammo that you can if you can hit other people. And even if you're not gonna hit them, they're not gonna walk into your salt, so you can definitely keep an area controlled. Do you have uh, other tips that you'd wanna share about Crow? Or other thoughts? Sometimes, like this is for Heist, sometimes you don't need to jump on the safe or an enemy brawler. So when I was pushing my Crow, I pushed a lot on the map called uh, GG Coral. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the time I just jump over to the other side and it forced all three brawlers to say, Oh, there's a crow in our bushes, we have to go find him. Yeah. And then my other teammates would come and do a lot of damage to the safe while they were distracted with me. Yes. You don't have to be the best when you're playing crow. You have to help your um, teammates win their lanes and win their battles to really just create opportunities for them to do a lot of work. Obviously, crow just barely got a buff. 
Um, <laughs> I still think that he is underpowered. Um, would you agree with that? I've been thinking about this a lot, and I really want to see Crow get an HP buff. Kind of like compete with uh, Leon a little bit. Mm -hmm. I was thinking if you race him to 4400 like Leon, you definitely have more potential to jump in and yeah. stay alive for a while, and then just really hold his own against other brawlers. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for coming on the channel, Jigsaw. Do you have any shout outs you'd like to give to people before uh, we end this video? All right. First, I want to thank you a lot for having me. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, I also want to shout out Don Mago, Osiren, uh, Keenan, and Portal. Some sweet people. We've had Keenan on the channel, we've had Portal on the channel, Osiren's been in some gameplay, and Don Mega is just a sweet guy. <laughs> He's so awesome. Yep. Hey, well, thank you very much for jumping onto the channel to watch this video. Thank you, Jigsaw, for the time that you took to prepare for the, today's video. And uh, I want to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors who are going the extra mile and helping support the channel. If you're interested in becoming one of those for extra perks, there is a link to both of those in the description below. For now, this is Jigsaw and Kairos time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.